हे गाइज अभिषेक है टुडे इन दिस फिल्मोरा ट्यूटोरियल आई एल शो यू हाउ टू डिजाइन अ डायनामिक स्पोर्ट्स मोशन पोस्टर इन फिल्मोरा फर्स्ट लेट सी वट वी आर गोइंग टू क्रिएट टूडे बिफोर डैट सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल फॉर मोर ऑसम ट्यूटोरियल एंड इफ यू लाइक दिस वीडियो डोंट फॉर गेट टू हिट द लाइक बटन आई एम लुकिंग फॉर हंड्रेड लाइक्स ऑन दिस वीडियो first open track manager had seven tracks and now import the player png pictures to the media bin this one is a whole png image of the player and these are the part which i cut to create a motion poster drop player 3 image on track 4 and make it 10 second long double click on it add a keyframe at the starting point then place the playhead at the 10 second and change y axis to 20 then drop leg image on track 5 make it 10 second long double click on it change scale to 31 rotate it by 10 degrees and align its position for better view change zoom level to 100% and adjust screen position in preview window and align it you don't have to be so precise because we already rotate it then place the playhead at 10 second and reset the rotation to 0 and align its position using x axis and y axis then drop hand image on track 6 make it 10 second long again double click on it and change scale to 31 adjust screen position and rotate it by negative 10 degrees and align its position then place the playhead at the end and reset the rotation and align the hand position then drop hand to image on track 3 make it 10 second long double click on it and change scale to 35 and rotate it to 10 degrees then align the hand position and place the playhead at the end and rotate the image at minus 10 degree and align the image position and then change zoom level to fit this is how it will work now save this project give name player and save it press control and to open new project to create background import all the required images drop background clip on track 1 and make it 12 second long then drop bold clip on track 2 go to the transitions and apply warm hole four transitions on bold image and make transition 10 frame long go one frame back go to the titles and drop default title at the playhead position stretch it to 12 second double click on it and change the font to morganite change the font size to 230 and enter team name lakers and make it italics change font color to light purple increase text spacing by 5 scroll down and rotate it at 270 degrees and align it on y axis go to the transitions and apply shift zoom 4 and keep transition 7 frames long only copy default title add another video track and paste it double click on it then go to the title click on advanced and turn off text fill and turn on outline change outline color to white thickness to 2 and blur to 2 align outline text position in the preview window and apply shift zoom to transitions and make transition 10 frame long copy this title and add another video track and paste it double click on it change the font to 42 click on advanced and turn off the outline and turn on the text fill and change font color to white increase text spacing by 10 and align its position in the preview screen 
and go to the transitions apply the evaporate to transition and keep transition duration to 1 second then go to the titles and drop the default title on blank space change the font to the same font enter number 8 change font size to maximum and take a snapshot again double click on it click on advanced turn on the outline change color to white thickness to 2 and blur to 2 and turn off text fill press ok and take a snapshot once again double click on it click on advanced turn on text fill and turn off the outline and enter the player name press ok and take a snapshot of it and delete the default title now drop the fill number 8 on the timeline double click on it and align its position go to the video then increase scale up to 135 percent and change blending mode to soft light and scroll down and on shadow and adjust the shadow then drop the outline snapshot on timeline stretch it to 12 second double click on it and align its position scroll up and increase scale now on both these clips create fade in effect using keyframes then drop player name and stretch it and double click on it and rotate it by 270 degree set its scale and adjust its position then go to the transitions and apply wormhole 4 and keep transitions 10 frames long only now go to the media bin and if you want to use a lakers logo drop it on the timeline and align it according to your creativity now export it at a higher rate then open the player project import the background clip drop the background clip on track 1 select player pngs place the playhead at 9th frame and make the 9th frame starting point reduce the duration of the background clip now apply shift zoom 4 on all png change transition duration to 10 frames and click on apply to all then go to the sample color and you can apply black or gradient purple on track 2 and change its blending mode you can check out these blending mode for now i am using soft light then click on render preview for smooth playback So guys this is how you can design a dynamic sports motion poster in Filmora. If you like this video don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you guys in my next video till then stay safe and goodbye.